today we are going to deal with complex numbers so just imagine an ant which has the freedom to go forward or backward on a rope which is tied to both the ends now there are two possible velocities for this ant one is a positive x or a negative x in this case let's take 5 so there are only two possible velocities for this ant which is moving at a velocity of 5 it is plus 5 or minus 5 whenever it's moving forward we call it plus 5 whenever it's moving backward we can call it minus 5 this is exactly the number line the rope here is very similar to the number line and for there are there are things in mathematics where this is more than enough this denotation of plus x minus x is more than enough but let's imagine another case in this case the same ant is moving along the surface of a spear this is a ball or yeah it's it's a, it's a spear it's a marble let's say and the ant is rotating on the surface of this ball or marble or whatever spherical object now its velocity it's still moving at 5 but its velocity is as if getting divided into two components so its actual velocity is still 5 but because of this angle it has now got a horizontal velocity and a vertical velocity it's as if 5 is the parent force and it's getting divided into two daughters one daughter is 3 another daughter is 4 now it's moving the uh, this component is greater than this component means that it's moving faster upwards as compared to how much forward it is moving at the same time so a huge proportion of this 5 is getting split is going to this whereas a small remaining portion the remaining portion is moving to this why 4 plus 3 doesn't add up to 5 I'll explain it in another video but right now just let us see this way a, pro a portion of the force goes here and the other portion goes here and we write this as 3 plus 4i that's it now the net magnitude still is 5 and that is obtained by taking the square root of 3 square plus 4 square that's equals to 5 this component 3 is called as the real part 4 is called as the imaginary part why is the nomenclature like this I still have no idea because it is very misleading there are actually people who say that this is the real part because it is real and this is the imaginary part because it is imaginary it's in your head it's not real mm, in my experience that's not true uh, that component which is parallel to the ground is called as the real component which is parallel to the reference surface not ground to a certain reference surface against which we are measuring the angles is called as the real component so in this case this component of 3 is parallel runs parallel to the ground surface so it is called as the real component in this case the reference surface is ground and that component which is perpendicular to the ground surface uh, the reference surface in this case which is ground is called as the imaginary component now let's change the reference surface and make it make the reference surface a wall instead of a ground and in this case let's imagine a ball coming at an angle and hitting the wall in this case also there are two components the velocity of the ball just 5 is getting split into 2 3 and 4 
we name it as 3 plus 4i right? but in this case 3 is the real component because it is running parallel to the wall and just notice that in this case the real component was a horizontal line it was called as a real component because it is running parallel to the ground and not because it is horizontal in this case the real component is a horizontal line it is called as the real component because it runs parallel to the reference surface against which we are measuring it in this case it's a wall so the real component is that component which runs parallel to the reference surface and the imaginary component is that which runs perpendicular to the reference surface now if you take the angle at which the ant is going I don't know in this case which what angle to put it but 5 cos theta of that angle will be equals to 4 I'm sorry 5 cos theta will be equals to 3 and 5 sine of that angle will give you 4 that is how it works so that was all from my side thank you i'll explain in detail about this uh, in another video what you're seeing is an excerpt from a book called as visualizing maths uh, unfortunately a hard copy of it is not available uh, for sale so all you have is the ebook and the pdf link which is given below this video so that was all thank you